Are you done? Okay. No. All right. Um, before before I get started, uh, there are a couple things I want to do. Uh, first of all, I want to give thanks to Leslie Gaynor. We're in her place. Yeah. Leslie, where are you? Not only does Leslie run the best place in the whole world, Leslie is one of the founding members of Homeowners for Affordable Housing, which has got to be the best organization in the city of Toronto. Okay, so I know you're all hot in both senses of the word. Um, so I, I'll try not to take very much time, but there are, there are a couple things I wanted to say. Uh, first of all, thank you all very much for being here and for your generous donations and support. Uh, people get this confused, uh, some of my colleagues get this confused notion that it's about them. It's actually about us. And I, and I wanted to thank you for being here tonight to remind each other about what we can do together. So thank you all. This time of year, this time of year is my very favorite time of year. First of all, it gives me a reason not to wear a tie, but but more importantly, it's it's when the city takes its winter coat off, and you see the streets fill up, you see the parks fill up, you see people out enjoying the city and remembering all the reasons that they love Toronto, and there's so many reasons to love Toronto, and unfortunately, for reasons I don't understand. A lot of people have, have, over the last year or two, been talking about all the stuff they don't like, right? Oh, those counselors with their golf passes and all that crazy nonsense that has nothing to do with the fact that we live in one of the most remarkable places anywhere in the world. We live in a place where a bunch of socialists come up and sing songs across the street from an affordable housing project during a political campaign. Oh my God. We live in a place where the deputy mayor of Toronto only spoke two words of English when he was 13 years old and arrived here. That doesn't happen everywhere in the world, folks. This is a remarkable city. So this time of year also reminds me of how much of it's at risk. We've seen that the provincial government of this province simply does not care about the future of this city. Sure, they're willing to in invest in a train that takes business travelers to the airport. Sure, they're willing to invest in transit that connects Forest Hill and Leaside. And they're willing to, to build a, a piece of transit to help us bring the Pan Am games here. What they're not willing to do is to spend a single dime connecting the neighborhoods in this city that are in decline to the rest of the city. They're not spending to, willing to spend a single dime on equity of access to the rest of the city. There are things you and I love about this city, and the provincial government, what they have done in the last six months is to say, those wonderful things in Toronto belong to the few. They don't belong to everyone in Toronto. They belong to just a few of us. That's not true. That's wrong. That's wrong. And we in Parkdale, we get that. We fight against that. We understand that the city belongs to everyone, that it only works when it belongs to everyone, and that it is only just and honest and fair when it belongs to everyone. This time of year also reminds me of how we build that future. If you walk in any park, anywhere in this ward, any one of the, 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 the 15 odd parks we have in this ward, you will find people out today playing with their kids, cleaning the park up, painting murals, fixing the swimming pool, doing all the stuff that we do together in this ward. It's amazing. The folks in this neighborhood believe in public space. They don't spend their time at home trying to pick out better china for their dining room set. They go out in the park and they make it beautiful for everyone to participate in. It's a fantastic thing. It's why this is the only place in the city that's crazy enough to elect me. And it's why I want to run the representative again.
I just wanted to, I wanted to finish just by saying, it's hot, you're hot, politics is hot, let's have hot fun, let's go out and campaign and win this board back. <laughs>